every video game should be awesome, but we know that's just not the case. So we'll usually just settle for video games at least being functional. Unfortunately, many video games ship with glitches that make them impossible or just outright ridiculous. Here are a few bugs that destroyed perfectly good games and should have sent their programmers looking for new work. Ducked up. It's a simple game about hunting delicious birds for sport, but even Nintendo's Duck Hunt was published with a game-breaking glitch. If you can endure your snickering dog for 99 levels of bird murdering fun, that's it. There's nothing there. Your reward is round zero, a foul purgatory where immortal birds disappear and reappear at random, and the game ends proving that there's no reward for duck genocide in real life or in Nintendo. Now for the real challenge, loading those thousands of duck corpses into your pickup truck. The missing Pokemon. In the olden days, there were only 151 Pokemon, and that was good enough. Because of programming limitations, the original Game Boy games left spots for 256 different encounters in Pokemon Red and Blue. 151 slots were filled with Pokemon, others with trainers, and 39 spots were left empty. If you follow a specific sequence of actions, you'll encounter the mess of code called Missing Number and be able to capture it. But doing so can cause game-breaking errors in other parts of your save. Sometimes you shouldn't catch them all. Crappy Holidays Back in the day, Sony's video game magazine, PlayStation Underground, would regularly send out preview discs to their subscribers. But around Christmas 2004, PlayStation 2 owners were in for a pretty terrible surprise. Unfortunately, the PlayStation Underground Holiday 2004 demo disc would destroy the save data on any memory card still plugged into its system, regardless of the game. Sony sent out warnings but it was too late. Stop, don't come back. Gamers lost thousands of hours of playtime data when their memory cards were blanked out. For many players, those hours had been invested in the recently shipped Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Just think of all of those unmurdered civilians still walking around. Boss loss. Bubble Bubble Revolution on the Nintendo DS includes one of the dumbest bugs ever released. What should have been a simple remake of a 100 level game was accidentally cut short at level 30, for no other reason than the programmers forgot to put in a boss. Because the boss battle was an essential trigger to move on to level 31, the game was simply unbeatable. Codemasters eventually replaced the bugged cards, but they'll never live down the unmitigated duncery of their mistake. Object Overload The massive glitch found in The Elder Scrolls IV Shivering Isles is also pretty simple. If you play too much of this Oblivion expansion, your game will crash. Because of a programming issue, the PC version of the expansion would freeze once its memory was full of background data. This was because the data wasn't being recycled when it was no longer in use. Bethesda pushed out a fix after about a month, and the irony that a game expansion called Shivering Isles had had severe freezing issues was lost on no one. Don't change a thing. The Soul Calibur series includes a pretty solid string of fighting games, but a terrible bug in the third installment nearly derailed the whole thing for PlayStation 2 users. The error doesn't manifest as a part of the game itself, but rather when players attempt to change, move, copy, or delete any of their older saved data associated with any of their games. The glitch can potentially destroy or corrupt all of the data on a player's memory card. Well, gamers have been able to figure out workarounds like saving on a separate memory card for just this one game. No amount of jig or physics is worth losing all of your games. Infinitely easy. Players may furiously debate whether or not the introduction of Infinite Spin to Tetris Worlds was a glitch or not. But it's game-breaking enough to be considered a travesty either way. By repeatedly hitting the spin button, a player can keep a Tetris piece in the air indefinitely, which is a totally cheap move. 
The official Tetris company unconvincingly denies the inclusion of this cheater move is a glitch, but the easy spin was made optional in subsequent games. But still, it's not the worst thing to ever happen to Tetris. That credit goes to appearing in pixels. No signal. Batman has it tough enough, but in Batman Dark Tomorrow, he's pretty much doomed from the start. The only real way to beat villain Ra's al Ghul is to find a signal device hidden somewhere. Except the game never tells you where it is or that it even exists. And while it's one of the most Kafka-esque video game twists of all time, no one plays video games to feel like a giant helpless bug. And making a game with no direction about how to actually win is a pretty big bug indeed. Face off. Ubisoft should have taken its time to give Assassin's Creed Unity a proper debut as the first next-gen exclusive of the series. Instead, it was rushed out the door with a plethora of glitches, clipping issues, and animation hiccups, which is a bad look considering the countless number of Assassin's Creed titles before it. Even after the patches, Unity still has more bugs than the courtesans of Paris. The worst offense? A glitch during cutscenes that causes faces to disappear, resulting in horrifying, grotesque visage of hair, eyeballs, teeth, and gums floating above characters' clothes. We hope someone at Ubisoft got the guillotine for deciding to ship this ugly, unfinished product. Every part of Superman 64. When a game starts out by covering everything in a kryptonite fog because it can't render its own graphics, you know you're off to a bad start. Regarded as one of the worst games of all time, Superman The New Adventures found an audience among small, stupid children, but it's so full of game-crushing glitches that it's considered unplayable. Now here's the catch though. The whole game takes place in a virtual reality programmed by Lex Luthor. So maybe Lex is just a really, really terrible programmer. From that perspective, this is actually the most clever game of all time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which video game bugs drove you crazy.